Hey everyone, Colin Anglin here and just wanted to get some video tutorials out with regards to Connect. As you know, it just launched and uh, this is just phenomenal. It's an incredible product. It's beautiful, it's sleek, it's smooth, it's very user friendly and it's just loaded with value. I mean, for any business, any business would want it. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. So, um, just wanted to take you through a quick tutorial of how you can actually set up an event for with using TalkFusion Connect. So in this case, I'm going to go to my video communication center. Okay, and of course I go right here and I click on the connect button. Now if you haven't done so already, if you scroll down, you'll actually see down here, download tutorial. So if you click on that, you can actually download the tutorial. But right now, I'm going to um, show you a couple of things. So for one, you can go to my profile and then when you go to my profile this is where you can actually upload a photo that you want to be displayed you can put your company name any keywords or description you can actually choose what banner that you want so uh, this is the banner that displays above your presentation and uh, this is the banner that is actually like for the waiting room so when a person has actually logged in and your presentation hasn't started yet this is what they'll see so you can change these by just going to select from banner library or upload a new banner as well okay uh, right now we're gonna go back to the dashboard because we want to just go ahead and create an event so I'm going to go to right here where it says add event ask for the meeting name so I can put for example connect you must put a description so we can put learn about connect the time, if I want to do something right away, let me just set it for 11.25 p.m. And I'm going to select live broadcast. So if you just want to do a video conference only, you would select this. Um, and that's only if you want a video conference. But if you want to be able to show slides, video, and all that kinds of stuff, then you need to select live broadcast. If you have any presenters already there, then they will show right here and you can click on the button to add a presenter. If not, uh, then that's quite fine. You can select duration, how long you want this to last. Now, even though it might say up to 45 minutes, I've had um, you know a presentation go on or I've kept the window open for over two hours and, and it was fine. So you know, so you can do that. But you set the date, the time. The description, uh, public, live broadcast. If you have a survey that you want to attach, you can put it in at this point. If you, this is a recurring broadcast, so something that's going to happen at the same time every single day, etc., you can do that, but most of the time it's not. So save an invite. Okay. So it's just created my event and it's going to ask you to invite guests from your address book. So it'll open up your address book. Now what you do from here is just like you were sending a video email, etc. You can search by name if you want to send it to one specific person. and You can add them in there. Or if you want to actually be able to send it to an entire group of people, okay, then you can select the entire folder right so that this for example will send it to everyone in my team folder okay and you can select as many different folders as you want okay so you can send it off to hundreds of people simultaneously uh, but I've just removed that and in this case let me just send it to myself so that I don't get a call from Wayne a little bit later saying Colin you invited me to some event <laughs> right so here we go so in the subject line then you just you know whatever the subject of the message is so um, connect with me and then in here you actually don't have to put anything because it's going to give an entire message saying you're invited to this to this event it gives the name of your event it gives a description of your event that you typed in in the previous um, in the previous window so you actually don't have to put anything in here because everything will already be typed up 
here is the registration so if you want a person to be able to actually register so this helps you to collect certain people's information so you can say do I want to you know require their address their city zip phone number Skype name etc you can collect all that information I usually don't I just want to you know collect their email addresses so um, so that's all I really do but if you want to be more specific you can do that then next page is a reminder so depending on how soon it is I always set out a reminder so I'll say yep I want to remind the people the people that I send this to an hour before the broadcast so in the subject line I will just put reminder um, broadcast coming up you can put anything you want you really don't have to put any custom text in there again because it's going to give them an entire message saying this is a reminder that this broadcast is beginning in an hour so you don't have to put anything in here if you don't want to, but if there's something specific that you want to say, you can. Send me a copy of the remind email reminder. You can put that in. If you want to send it to the person a day before or both an hour and a day before, you can do all of that. Okay? And then follow up, right? So if you want to be able to send them a follow-up email right after the broadcast is finished, normally subject, I'll say something like thank you in the body of it uh, we just wanted to say thanks for attending oops if I can type here let us know if you need to get your questions answered that's just an example you can type in anything I always like to get a, a copy of the follow-up email, okay? And, uh, and that's it. So your information is all up here. You select who you want to receive it, whether it be an entire folder or just a single person or persons. Okay, your broadcast invite subject. Registration, if you want, that's optional, not a mandatory thing. A reminder, that's also optional and follow-up is also optional so that's how you do all of that when you're ready you click save and send and as you can see it'll tell you the registration email is sent a reminder is set for one hour before the event etc follow-up is set as well now in your dashboard you'll actually see where this presentation has come up so you would click launch now to start your event but I'm going to do that in another video this was just to show you how to set up a broadcast in connect